Hello and welcome to your Khan Academy tutorial. The first thing that you're going to want to do is log into KhanAcademy.org. You can sign in using your Facebook account, Gmail account, or another email account. For your assignment today, go ahead and log in with your Gmail account by clicking on the Sign In with Google button. It will ask you if Khan can access your Google account. Go ahead and push Allow. You'll be sent to your account screen. From here, you can access many different sites within Khan Academy. You can view your accomplishments, vital statistics, and the community by clicking on any of the links on the left. We will only be focusing on a few of these, but first let's check out the main feature of Khan Academy that our students will use. In the top left hand corner, there is a drop down menu called Learn. The first option, which is the home button, will allow students to search all kinds of videos that cover multiple subjects from math to economics to computer science. For this tutorial, we are going to focus on math, so instead of clicking on Home, go to the next one down that says Knowledge Map. This will be the main page that your students will use as they work on their math concepts. You can work from the zoomed out position and work on a general subject like addition and subtraction or decimals, or you can zoom in and work on a single subject. The most basic skills start at the top, and then skills become harder the further you go down. So you may start with addition and subtraction and work all the way down to calculus. They are broken up into different areas of math, and each section of math connects to another one so that their new skills should build on the ones they already completed. You can zoom in on the map by using your scroll wheel or by using the magnifier on the left hand side with the add and subtract sign. Go ahead and zoom in on the very top one labeled addition and subtraction. As you zoom in, you will notice that more subjects appear. Let's zoom in and work on the first one labeled number line 1. Click on that and it will lead you to another screen. On the left hand side there will be a list of things that you can do. The ones with a play button on the inside of the circle mean they are videos. Khan has made hundreds of videos that take students step by step through different subjects. If this is the first time they are learning something or they need a quick refresher, then these videos are a great resource in helping them understand a concept. Take some time and watch a little bit of the first video entitled Basic Edition so that you get an idea of what the videos look and feel like. Click on the button below that entitled Number Line 1. Work through the series of problems until it says you can move on. If you get the question right on the first try, it will give you three leaves for that question. If you have to take a few tries to get it correct, you lose leaves. You can also ask for hints in case you forget a step. This will also take away leaves. The more leaves you earn, the more points and badges you can get. It also helps teachers identify skills that they are struggling with. Once you are done, it will calculate the leaves you earned and allow you to repeat the skill by doing another stack of cards or let you learn a new skill. To completely finish a skill, your green bar needs to be filled completely up until it turns blue. It will also change the color of your circle to blue. Once you've finished the skill and filled the bar completely blue, go ahead and push Learn New Stuff. It will automatically take you to the next skill that you need to learn. Seeing as how you are in college, you probably know one digit addition. There is a way for you to skip these subjects by going back to your knowledge map. Go back to your knowledge map by clicking on the drop down menu again. Zoom up on the addition and subtraction icon, and this time, Click on multiplying three digits by one digit over on the left hand side.
Once you've finished this one and filled the bar completely with blue, you should notice that the circle is filled dark blue. If you go back to your knowledge map, you should see that the ones directly above your skill have been filled in as well. This is nice for those students that understand the basic concepts and just want to move on. So far, you should have watched part of the addition video, finished your number line one task, and also your multiplying three digits by one digit task. I want you to quickly work on one digit subtraction on your knowledge map. This time I want you to do it as quickly as possible while trying to get everything correct. You'll notice that as you quickly go through the questions and get them correct, that you will get a message in the top right hand corner. If you click on that, you'll notice you earned a badge. Students can earn badges for many different things as they are working on their skills. Next to that, if you click on your account name, you can see how many points you have earned. Click on your points and you will be redirected back to your account screen. On this screen, they will suggest activities you should work on as well as show you recent activities you've completed. You can see how many stars you've earned, how many videos you've watched, and how many energy points you have. On the left hand side, you can click on the achievements tab and it will let you view what achievements you've earned so far. You can make goals as well, but we will skip that for now. If you go to activity, you will be able to see how many minutes you spent on skills and videos. You can look at points from today all the way to 30 days ago. The focus icon will allow you to see what skills you focused on the most by showing a pie chart. The skills progress tab allows you to see what skills you are proficient in, need reviewing, or are struggling with. You can also click on each skill and see what individual questions you had troubles with. The progress over time link will show you how many days you've worked on the site and how many skills you've completed in that time. Below in the community section, you will learn our last feature. Click on coaches and then it will ask you to add a coach. If you want to keep track of your class and see how they are doing and try to help them with the skills that they need to complete, then this is the most important feature for you. You will need to enter the email address of our instructor so that he can view your progress on Khan Academy. This will be how he knows you've completed the assignment. I also want you to add yourself. Once you add your own Gmail account, you can click the Coaches link at the very top of the page. This allows you to view statistics from each student you are a coach for. You can play around with this on your own time, but know that this is not only a great feature for teachers, but parents can use this too, so that they can keep track of their kids and help them when needed. For a free website, you really get a lot of tools that you can use to enhance your teaching. This helps the low kids by allowing them time to pause and replay videos while at the same time getting hints from the website, and it allows the high kids to move on and challenge themselves to learn something new. They can do all of this on their own, and it allows the teacher to free up their own time to work one-on-one -on -one with those students that are really struggling and need one-on-one -on -one attention. I hope you learned something, and I hope that you will be able to use what you've learned here in your own classroom.